how did you find Berkeley? How was it going straight from never having studied jazz in a in a school to 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 going to Berkeley in America? That was great. Um, first few months, first year, I was having tough time language wise. You know, I didn't okay. speak English. You know, it was worse than this. You know, it, <laughs> it was very difficult. But mm -hmm. they have also a lot of international students, and yeah. um, you know, and um, I had a yeah a lot of jazz classes, harmony class, and arranging um, ensembles, and mm -hmm. um, also private lessons from you know Matt Glazer, yeah. and Rob Thomas, yeah. Um, those were all really great experience. Yeah. Yeah. When uh, what what when was the moment that you started to feel like um, that you were starting to get it and it was starting to work for you, like your own, like your just your method of of learning and your your way of playing. When was that? Um. Yeah. Good question. I feel like listening to a lot of jazz while I still I was still in Japan helped me a lot. I think okay. I was already developing my ears for mm -hmm. jazz before Berkeley, right? Which which is more technical, you know, scales mm -hmm. and theoretical, you know, backups. But yeah. I think it's a good that I had a lot of listening time beforehand mm -hmm. before going into those theory you know yes because i think that's the most important thing before mm -hmm. anything because uh, theory like you can learn it but you can't learn first no you know so i think that the listening is a um, big part of my playing i think that, that it formed my yeah that's great how i play yeah, yeah. So you you felt like um, like a lot of the sort of the hard work of starting to understand jazz had mm -hmm. had already had, had just happened from listening and I think um, my ears were developed yeah developed in from listening and the Berkeley's theoretical um, teaching system uh, was a good backup like it's like a, um, okay, that's how you can explain yeah. this yeah. music. And yeah. then I, I was convinced, okay, that's how you can explain things. Mm -hmm. And it kind of like, um, it made my brain a little more, you know, clear and organized. Yeah. And I know how to practice, you know. Before that, it was all about ear. You yes. know? I couldn't really analyze well. You know, approach tones and you know those stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but now, it's all clear. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was the? What would you say was the, the best thing that you got out of studying at Berkeley? Best thing, um, I think, best thing was kind of going outside from my comfort comfortable environment mm -hmm. which was you know japan mm -hmm. and just like moving to somewhere totally new where i don't know anyone yeah and so i i had to be totally open to yeah. whatever they say and um and i had a lot of practice time at berkeley because it's not in new york where things are happening every night like mm -hmm. boston it's not so much that you can do at night. So like I would just practice or hang hang out with my friends and share ideas, what's mm -hmm. going on yeah. with their classes or what they're practicing. I think kind of you can nurture those like relationships with other people who are also trying to do something there. Yes. Yeah. And so that was a really great building, you know, relationships and sort of taking time to um, grasp what you want to do yes next yeah after school mm -hmm. and yeah so 
what did you want to do? I wanted to make an album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, I was kind of like jazz biting dork. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I, I had so many um, CDs of different kind of jazz violins in the past, and you know, I was a collector. Mm -hmm. But then I realized it, it's not that everyone does that, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to make an album that's um, dedicated to different jazz violinists, uh -huh. but in my, in my own language. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I did after school. So you did that? I did that. And that was yeah. your first CD? Yeah. First. Yeah. So, yeah. And I, it, but I, I had to work at like sushi restaurant and do some job after yeah. graduating and, and, you know, to get those financial thing covered. Of course, yeah. Making a CD yeah. from nothing. Yeah, 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 it's a lot of money. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that for CD, there's, uh, it's mainly original compositions? Yeah. Yes. Seven original. Yeah. What's the name of it? Because I was listening to a bunch of your albums. Uh, it's called Visions. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. Yes. Yeah, great. Yeah, Is I, that the one with yeah, the the thing about Zbigniew Cipher in there? Yeah. There's an album. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you really. Glazer introduced me to his music. Yes. Yeah. He's like, check this out. Yeah. Can you transcribe this? And I was like, Sure. <laughs> and then I, I transcribed his solo. I think it was the evening song. Um, yeah, that was challenging, but um, I was blown away. Yeah, yeah. So you you yeah. like you, you're into Zbigniew. Yeah. Mhm. Mm cool. Okay. Uh, so you when you fin you did your CD it was.